Drinking and smoking can be a self-medicating practice. A co-worker had to have a cocktail and cigarette every day. A cocktail and a cigarette every day to wind down. Let me ask you this, Brick. Do you think it's other ways to wind down besides just drinking and smoking? And then once you come down, right back to reality. So what problems have you solved? But like I say, every Levi, appreciate you chiming in. Appreciate you too. Hey, get locked in on yourself, brother. Get locked in on yourself, Uncle Ed. Stop trolling and just lock in on you, man, and do something positive. You're right. That's the only person you can be, Hot Wang, is yourself. Not to mention, a study showed that mental health is psychologically. I, I feel you. You're right. You're absolutely right. It does psychologically uh, affect you. Indeed, mental, indeed, mental health is important, but quick fixes are more widely used. Okay. That's totally up to you. Hey, Beer Guts Garage. Hey, appreciate that uh, channel membership, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you joining my channel. I'm just trying to stay positive out here and do the right things, man. I had a live, just to let you know something, I had a live Saturday, man, with my little crew. Like, we got in like 710 reps, man. Pull-ups, push-ups, dips, and burpees. <laughs> I'm 69 years old and we got in that many reps. How many 69 year olds you know put in that kind of work? I don't know very many. And like I always have put it out there before, if you guys know any 69 year olds, I'll be 70 at the end of the year, Christmas day, you guys let me know. <laughs> Cause I don't know any. Hey, hot wing, if you're going to come with that nastiness, man, don't even don't even come on my channel no more. Don't even come on my platform no, no more if you're going to be talking nasty like that. Have some respect for yourself as well as your mama. So, semantically speaking, refers to not only psychoeconomics perspective, but also your lineage. Yeah, I agree with that, Ben. I agree with that, bro. I agree with that. I appreciate that comment too, Bear Garage. Bricks, big, brick squared, man. Thank you. <laughs> what? The, hey, I haven't gotten one yet. They usually get me a real red velvet cake. That's usually what my daughters and my wife usually get me. Yeah. I haven't seen it yet, you know. I... All right, man. Just speaking to the yard, man. That's my buddy. I remember we used to didn't get along, but we get along just fine now. You know, sometimes you have to eat your pride and talk to people and just open up with people that you might think don't like you or you don't get along with, but you don't know these things unless you talk. And that's what we don't do, communicate a lot of times. And I'm pretty sure that has a lot to do with physical and mental health issues. <laughs> so, you know, like I said, it's all about your take on different things, you know? Kind of totally up to you. What you believe and the way you feel about stuff. I'm trying to wonder what's going on with, with everything here. I don't know what I did. 